Okay, now we're going to go ahead and reinstall the control valve. Uh, there again, you have the two O-rings here and here, and also your two that attach to your bypass valve. So what you want to do is take a little uh, lube, put on there, and make sure those get coated. So the next time you, need, if you ever need to remove it again for service, uh, hopefully it'll come off smooth for you. So go ahead and just put a nice little thin film of that around there. And again, if you have a uh, you know Proox or Chemsorb, you're going to have this top filter that snaps in there. Uh, in this case, we don't have it, but in some cases you will have that. Okay, we'll go ahead and get that detube seated and thread this on. Again, hand tight. You want to get the O-ring sealed, but you don't want to crack the valve body and you don't want to crack the tank. So. Just give it a good tightening. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and reinstall the valve to the bypass valve through your inlet and outlet. And a couple of things you want to make sure here is, is one is, is you want to make sure that you seal it up evenly. If you're cocked here, the O-rings won't seal correctly, so you really want to make sure you come at this thing square on. Then you're going to go ahead and put your clips back on, and remember these catch here, the little edges catch on these two. So if you're not quite lined up, they won't mate. So they're right here, and as you can see, you want to just make sure you put each one, each side loosely. You want to sandwich these two valve bodies together evenly. So just kind of give that guy a little, little snug. And then come over to the other side. And there again, if you do them loose a little bit each side, then they, uh, they seat up real nice. And then go ahead once they're seated and go ahead and tighten them up. and verify your gap here is nice and even which it looks like it is and that's good to go there okay now we're going to go ahead and reinstall our drain line again your little uh, o-ring here um, I already put some on but you want to put a little lube on that as well and you pull the little black clip open again this little clip seats down in there and seals it that way so make sure you press this all the way in Pop your little clip in, give a little tug on that just to make sure you got it seated. Because uh, if you don't have it seated once you go into backwash, you will blow the hose off. Okay, at this point we're going to go ahead and plug our valve back in here off the little pigtail. And you'll see it come light up. So I'm going to go ahead and force the valve into the backwash mode. So what I'll do is just hold the set change button. And you'll see it go to 1. And re recall that uh, one is your backwash, so basically the water goes down through the tube and up through the media. So we're just going to go through and do a... Okay, so with the valve locked into the backwash cycle, what we're going to do is slowly open the inlet valve. So basically we're going to allow water in. Uh, like I said before, it's going to go down the D-tube, back up through the media, and out through the drain line. So we're going to slowly open this, and again, this is... You want to be careful here, make sure this is in tight, don't just blast it open because you, you could have a mess on your hands. So slowly bring it up and you'll slowly see the water coming in and over a couple of minute period then you'll have the valve all the way open. So go ahead and uh, run that for a while you know uh, until you can see it clearing up. And we're still in one which is the backwash and the 10 minute countdown cycle. So this will count down basically to zero and then go into the rapid rinse. Okay, so we've gone through our initial backwash and now we've gone into three, which is our rapid rinse. So now basically the water is going down through the media back up through the center tube which is the uh, flow direction uh, for your house service. 
So you want to continue to monitor your drain line and um, and watch you know here for, for it, it to clear up. Go ahead and let it just run at six minutes and it'll time down. Once you see the water coming out of your drain line in the rinse cycle and it's clear, uh, you've done a pretty good job at uh, flushing out the initial media and you can go ahead and bring the rest of the house online. Okay, once you uh, have done your backwashes and your rapid rinses, everything looks good. And uh, go ahead and slowly bring your outlet pressure up. Okay, so when you bring your outlet pressure up, now you're going to fill your line going into your house up to your closed shutoff valve. Uh, the reason we like to have the sample port here is now you can, if you're indoors, hook a hose up to it or put a bucket underneath it. And you can go ahead and open this and you can rinse out the out, uh, outlet side of your uh, setup and just run that until it's clear. Once you're clear here, uh, then you can go ahead and open up the house system. And um, I, we recommend going to like a utility sink or a tub nearby, opening that up and going ahead and flushing that out for a few minutes as well. Uh, you just don't want to make sure you're not putting any, you know, seeing any particulates. Um, if you don't happen to have this kind of set up, basically what you would do is go ahead and open it. And, but you definitely want to go to like a bathtub or a utility sink. Something with an, an aeration uh, little thing on the end of the nozzle. And just go ahead and rinse it, flush it through. Um, so uh, basically that's all for today. Um, uh, good luck and uh, talk to you later. Bye.